Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvi and I will be your guide for today's lesson. Today, we will discuss estimation of the products of decimal numbers with reasonable results. To fully understand the lesson, let's study the exchange rates between the Philippine Peso against some currencies. So, ito yung table ng Banko Sentral ng Pilipinas. Ito yung reference exchange rate bulletin as of September 18, 2020. So, kung nakikita nyo sa unang column, ito yung mga bansa, then yung kanilang mga currencies, at yung katumbas nito, yung kanilang mga currencies sa ating Philippine Peso. In order to estimate the peso equivalent of the different currencies, let us follow the following steps. So, for example, we're going to get the converted value of 76 US dollars into Philippine peso. So, usually, minumultiply natin, di ba? Yung isang dollar ay may katumbas na 48 uh, pesos and 4,540 centavos. Then, multiply natin siya sa 76 dollars. Okay, so, yun yung magiging uh, number sentence natin. Then, since kukunin lang natin yung estimated equivalent ng 76 dollars into peso, kailangan natin i-convert ang 48 and 4,540 10,000 sa nearest uh, whole number. So, ano bang mas malapit na whole number? Diba? Itong ones. Itong digit na 8. So, since ang katabi niya is 4, sa kanan, round down tayo. So, magiging 48 pesos pa rin siya. Then, yung ating 76 pesos, saan mas malapit na whole number ang 76? So, mas malapit siya sa 80. Okay, so the rounded factors or the rounded value is $80. Then, we cannot proceed on multiplying the rounded factors. So, we will get 3,840 pesos. Therefore, ang answer natin, ang katumbas ng $76 is approximately 3,840 pesos. So, ganito natin siya isusu isusulat uh, using symbol. Hindi tayo gagamit ng equal sign, kundi yung approximate, approximation symbol ang ating gagamitin. Okay, so let's try another example. Let us estimate the peso equivalent of 154 Hong Kong dollar. So, based doon sa ating table kanina, ang isang Hong Kong dollar ay nagkakahalaga ng 6 pesos and 2,522 centavos. So, kunin natin yung equivalent or estimated peso equivalent ng 154 Hong Kong dollar. So, imumultiply natin siya sa 154 Hong Kong dollars. Since estimated lang ang hinahanap natin, kailangan nating i-round off itong mga factors sa nearest whole number. So, itong 6 and 2,522 saan mas malapit na whole number? Okay, so mas malapit siya sa whole number na 6. Then, ito namang 154 uh, Hong Kong dollars ay saan mas malapit? Okay, so mas malapit siya sa 150 Hong Kong dollars. Then, we can now proceed on multiplying the two rounded factors. So, we will get 900 pesos. So, ang katumbas ng 154 Hong Kong dollars is approximately 900 pesos. The easiest way on how you can estimate the products of decimal numbers is by rounding off. So, kung marunong kayong mag-round off ng whole numbers or ng decimal numbers, mas mabilis nyong ma-estimate ang decimal numbers. So, this will help you in performing the multiplication of decimal numbers. Kasi, di ba, kapag estimated, mas mabilis na siyang i-compute ng uh, gamit lamang ang isip or mentally. So, we can multiply the factors mentally. Okay, so let's have this example number 1. Estimate 38 times 312 pesos and 50 centavos. So, isulat muna natin yung 312 pesos and 50 centavos multiplied to 38 equals N. 
Okay, sa so una, i-round off natin itong 38 sa nearest ah, tens. Kasi kung titingnan nyo, saan bang whole number mas malapit ang 38? So, mas malapit siya sa 40. So, since ang, eh, ang katabi ng 3 is 8, mag-a-add tayo ng 1 doon sa ating tens place. So, yung 38 will become 40. So, mas malapit ang 38 sa 40. So, sunod naman, itong 312 pesos and 50 centavos, ni-round off natin siya sa nearest tens. Saan ba mas malapit ang 312? So, mas malapit siya sa 310 pesos. Then, pwede na natin silang i-multiply. So, ang makukuha nating sagot dito is 12,400 pesos. Okay, so let's have example number 2. Estimate 78 and 4 tenths times 4 and 85 hundredths. So, we write the factors 78 and 4 tenths multiplied to 4 and 85 hundredths equals N. Okay, so unahin muna natin itong 4. Saan bang whole number malapit ang 4 and 85 hundredths? So, mas malapit siya sa 5 kaya i-round up natin siya sa 1's. So, since ang katabi ng 1's digit is yung decimal digit na 8, Magra-round up tayo, so yung 4 may, ay magiging 5. So, 4 and 85 hundredths is closer to 5. Then, yung 78 and 4 tenths naman. Ni-round up natin siya sa nearest tenths kasi mas malapit ang 78 and 4 uh, tenths sa 80. Then, proceed on multiplying the two factors. So, 80 times 5 is 400. Okay, so let's read the problem, then answer the questions that follow. Diego and other farmers harvested tomatoes for the barangay's Gulayan Day. They were able to fill 56 and 5 tenths kains, each weighing 18 and 75 hundreds kilograms. Okay, so here are the questions. About how many kilograms of tomatoes were harvested for the Gulayan Day? If they would sell the tomatoes for 24 pesos and 25 centavos a kilo, by how much would they get for one kain? And by how much would they get for all the tomatoes? A businessman bought all all the tomatoes but was given one and five tenths kilograms free for each kain. About how much would he pay? Okay, so the first question is about how many kilograms of tomatoes were harvested for the Gulayan Day? Okay, so may word na about. Tandaan na kapag sa problem ay may nakita kayong word na about, you will use estimation. Okay, so the given numbers are 56 and 5 tenths and 18 and 75 hundredths. So, yung 56 and 5 tenths, ito yung uh, number ng kain na na-fill up, na na-fill nila ng tomatoes. Tapos, itong 18 and 75 hundredths naman, ito yung, yung weight ng isang kain. Okay, estimate natin siya sa pag-round up to the highest place value. So, saan mas malapit ang 56 and 5 tenths? So, mas malapit siya sa 60. Then, itong 18 and 75 hundredths naman ay mas malapit sa 20. Therefore, pwede na natin silang i-multiply. 60 times 20 is 1,200. So, ang ating sagot is about 1,200 kilogram of tomatoes were harvested. Okay, so proceed tayo sa second question. If they would sell the tomatoes for 24 pesos and 25 centavos a kilo, by how much would they get for one kain? So, ito yung ating exact product. Kapag minultiply natin yung 18 and 75, 18 and 75 hundreds kilograms sa 24 and 
24 pesos and 25 centavos, ito yung makukuha nating product. Exact product. So, the exact product is 454 pesos and 6,875 10,000 or centavos. Okay, kung kukunin naman natin ng estimated product ng 18 and 75 hundreds at 24 and 25 hundreds, so, i-round up natin siya sa nearest whole number. So, yung 18 and 75 hundreds ay mas malapit sa 20. At ito namang 24 and 25 hundreds ay mas malapit din sa 20. Therefore, when we multiply 20 times 20, the answer is 400. Okay, so proceed tayo sa second question again, letter B. If they would sell the tomatoes for 24 pesos and 25 centavos a kilo, by how much would they get for all the, tom the, for all the tomatoes? So, minultiply natin kanina yung weight ng kada kaing sa bilang ng kaing. So, ang nakuha natin is 1,059 and 375,000. So, imumultiply naman natin itong 159 and 375,000 sa uh, pesos, sa 24 pesos and 25 centavos, centavos para makuha natin kung magkano lahat ang halaga ng 56 and 5 uh, 56 and 5 tenths na kain. So, ito yung nakuha nating product. Exact product is 2,569 pesos and 84,375 centavos. Okay, let's proceed sa question number 3. A businessman bought all the tomatoes but was given 1 and 5 tenths kilograms free for each kain. About how much would he pay? So, binili daw ng businessman lahat ng tomatoes. Pero binigyan siya ng 1 and 5 tenths kilograms free sa kada isang, sa kada isang kain. So, magkano daw ngayon or about how much ang babayaran ng businessman? Okay. So, yung total weight ng lahat ng kain or per kain is 18 and 7,500. So, babawasan natin yon ng tig well, 1 and 5 tenths. So, meron tayo ngayong 17 and 2,500 kilograms. Okay. So, let's solve first for the exact product. So, meron tayong 56 and 5, ka and 5 tenths kaings. Imumultiply na lang natin siya sa 17 and 25 hundredths kilograms. So, makukuha natin ay 974 and 6,255 ten thousands. So, Kung ating i-estimate to the nearest whole number, itong 56 and 5 tenths, mas malapit siya sa 60. And yung 17 and 25 hundreds naman is closer to whole number na 20. So, ating i-multiply, 60 times 20 is 1,200. Okay, so, in order for us to answer the question about how much would he pay or kung magkano ang ibabayad ng or mag, um, magkano ang ibabayad ng businessman sa kanyang biniling kamatis so yung 1200 na nakuha natin kanina is imumultiply na natin sa amount natin na 24 and 25 24 pesos and 25 centavos so mas malapit ang ang 24 pesos and 25 centavos sa 20 Kaya kunin natin ang kanyang product. So, makukuha natin is 24,000 pesos. So, about 24,000 pesos ang ibabayad ng businessman doon sa kanyang biniling mga kamatis. So, note na ang exact amount na babayaran ng businessman is 23,634 pesos and 65,625 centavos. So, nakita nyo na mas malapit or konti lang ang kanilang difference o, sa ating exact amount. So, yung 24,000 is reasonable naman dahil mas malapit siya sa ating exact amount na 23,000 634 pesos and 65,625 centavos.
Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned from this video and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Thank you so much.